Hello, welcome. Have you ever asked yourself, why is my phone not charging? Or why is it charging so slow? Or why is my phone so hot while it's charging? Well, I can give you some simplistic answer. Uh, you can have some problems. Some of the problems are, one, uh, your charging device is either defective or uh, the amperage on your charging device is, uh, is not capable or high enough to charge your, uh, your cell phone. Two, uh, your uh, charging device, I mean uh, your charging cables are uh, defective. Uh, three, uh, your uh, battery is bad. All right, it is very important to know how to read your amperage uh, that your uh, charging device is able to charge. Uh, this is a generic charger. Let me show you uh, how to read this. And it says here, output is five volts, uh, rated at 0.5 amps. And this is another generic phone charger. So this one says output volt five amp, I mean five volts, uh, one amp per an hour. And this is a Samsung um, fast charging device. Let's see where, where this is at. This is at output around nine volts, uh, 1.67 amps or five volts, 2 point, uh, amps per an hour. All right, let me show you how to read what uh, amps and milliamps is. On your phone charger, a 0.5 amp equals 500 milliamps, one amp equals 1,000 milliamps, two amps equals 2,000 milliamps. On your phone battery, let's just say that your battery capacity is at 1,000 milliamp. If you're using a 0.5 amp charger, it will take you two hours to charge is a 1000 milliamp battery because 0.5 amp equals 500 milliamp. So if you do the math, 500 plus 500 equals 1000 milliamp. That's why it takes two hours. So uh, 0.5 amps per an hour. So it's going to take two hours to add up to 1000 milliamp. And the same goes for if you have a one amp charger, it's going to take you about one hour to charge a 1000 milliamp battery. Two amp chargers. To charge a 1000 milliamp battery it's going to be half an hour to charge that all right let's go to the next step how do you know if your battery is bad your battery charger is bad or your uh, your cables is bad uh, the first thing to do is uh, let me give you an example let's say that this battery uh, capacity is at 1000 milliamp and you're using a one amp charger so in one hour uh, this charger should charge this battery in one hour so um, I recommend you drain the battery to almost 0% and then charge it and in one hour, let's see what happens. If it does charge in one hour, then you know all your components are working properly. But let's just say that um, it charges in two hours. Then the first step is to uh, replace this, get another um, uh, USB charging uh, cables and connect it and do the same test again. Char uh, discharge the battery to almost a zero percent, uh, one percent was recommended, or somewhere around there, near there, and do the same test again. So in one hour, it should charge it. If it still doesn't, you know, change another cables and try again. If that doesn't work, then most likely your either your battery's bad or your charging um, uh, your battery charger is bad. So how do you know one of the two? Well, simplistically, remove this and get a different. Um, uh, charging device. Let's say uh, get, get another one amp charger and do the same test again. So in one hour it should charge it. And if it doesn't, then you'll know that the battery is bad. All right, let me show you the tools that I use to be able to figure out what is not working properly is by using this uh, current voltage detection tool. You can find this from Amazon for like about 10 bucks. This is the Sansonic uh, brand. Uh, this tool uh, shows you the readout of your voltage says here five, 5 volts and it shows you your readout of your amps uh, 0.47 amps that's how much um, is coming through your uh, charging device if you were to uh, to use different charging cables the number should be consistent if the number is not consistent if it's not the same as 0.47 let's just say that one of the uh, charging cables like this has a different reading let's say 0.2 or 0.0 amps then you know that the, this charging cable is defective. So let me show you. Okay, I got this small wire hooked up and look look what it says here. It says 0.0, .0 amps at 5 volts. So now we know for sure that this is a bad cable. Alright, I have this device hooked up to my fast Samsung charger 
and uh, you see here is uh, rated at 0.6 amp. Uh, not all uh, charger will output the full amperage to charge your uh, your battery. So that is designed to help uh, regulate uh, the current to protect your battery from overcharging or uh, or damaging the battery. So without this device, it is very hard to tell if your uh, battery charger is outputting the full uh, amperage to charge your battery. All right, then what about uh, my phone getting hot while it's charging? Well, a couple of reasons. Uh, one reason is probably your apps is running in the background. That's overworking the CPU. Uh, that's one way that your phone can get really hot while it's charging. Or if you're charging this phone overnight, uh, if it's not very well ventilated and uh, if it's covered by a pillow or a blanket or something to cover it, it can get hot that way. Or another reason is if your phone covers is covering it, you know, while apps is running in the background, that can also uh, causes um, your phone to overheat. Uh, those are some of the things that happen to me uh, when when I charge my phone. It gets really hot that way. So before you charge your phone overnight, make sure that you disable all apps running in the background or put it in airplane mode or turn it off. Uh, that's that's one way to uh, to be able to charge it without any um, overheating. And make sure it's in a well, well ventilated area. As you can see here, I hooked up the 99 cents uh, charging cable to my Samsung Galaxy Note 4 with a uh, 2 amp charger. So it shows that I have 5.21 volts and a 0.57 amps. So let's see what happened when I used the original uh, charging wires that came with my Galaxy Note 4. Okay, as you can see here, that's a dramatic difference from 0.6 amp to 1.16 amp. So as you can see, very good quality wires can give you a boost jump in, um, in your amperage. So one important note too is to make sure you check your connection, your connector here, make sure it's not broken or loose, especially here when you connect it to your phone or charging port, make sure it's not uh, broken or loose or corroded. It's very important that you have at least five volts or more. If your volt is, is lower than five volts, your charging is gonna be very slow. There is another way to check your amperage and your volts without using this device. You can go to the Google App Store and download uh, some free app uh, called Galaxy Charging Current or Ampri or Oppo Charging Current. They will uh, show you uh, how much um, reading is, um, is, is going through your, your cable. So just use it as a reference. Uh, it might not be accurate, but uh, the voltage and amperage should be consistent. And if you see any difference, then you can go from there. Here's one troubleshooting tip. If your phone is still acting up and it's not charging, uh, double check your, your port here. Make sure it's uh, clean. And make sure it doesn't have any dirt or debris or lint that's inside. And it, if there is, uh, clean it up. Uh, before you clean it up, I highly recommend you remove the, the battery. So that way if you use any type of metal tweezer or anything that's metal, uh, it can prevent um, your phone from uh, shorting out. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike it, give it a thumbs down. And for more videos, please subscribe.